mounted the shroud back on the radiator. Little screws here. There's five little screws that hold this top piece on. I didn't put the center ones in, just the three. Just hold it in place, I'm taking it off again. But I'm lining the fan up here. You can see down here where I kind of box this in. These screws go all the way through, holding it on. Anyway, four of those. I'm going to go ahead and locate the fan here. I've got four little 440 screws. There's some little tiny holes in this thing all the way around. So I'm going to use every one of these holes with a little one inch 440 screw to go through and put the, the nut on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and actually mount this fan to the shroud. And then I'm going to take it off and I'll know exactly where to cut the hole for the fan. Okay, now I have my fan mounted to the shroud. Went through and mounted all these little screws. Got everything bolted on. I've hooked it up to the battery and spun test it so it's not in a bind or anything. Everything works fine. Here's where all the little bolts are coming through the back side. So now all i got to do is cut this hole out. Okay, now I've got the hole cut out in the shroud here. See how it fits here? It's about, uh, it's close to three quarters of an inch off the inside here, all the way around. You can see it comes off pretty easy. So now I gotta kind of grind and clean this up, cut the corner off over here for the cap, just get it smooth, and go ahead and glue and screw the, the fan down on top of it. Okay, now my cooling system is complete. I've got the air conditioner condenser on the front side here. Some little insulation in between the two. I've got my shroud built. And my fan mounted. I'll be taking that fan off probably another time and uh, putting some silicone in there along the edges to get it a perfect seal. You can see it's it's got wide open to the to the radiator. So hopefully this will help out. Okay, now I got the new radiator assembly mounted in the car. It's got a little it's got like five little screws that hold it in here at the bottom. It's really sturdy. It's got, I just reused the brackets that I had at the top. I just cut them down and I went ahead and mounted them to the flange here. So this whole thing is pretty darn sturdy. It doesn't move anywhere. But um, now, since I put the radiator in in this location, it's everything, everything clears. See the bottom tube down here. Clears the frame. Kind of hard to see down in there. But everything looks like it's going to work in this position, so I need to take and remount this bottle. I'm going to have to play around with that and build some more brackets for that. And then the overflow bottle, I may have to reposition some of this stuff to make it all fit back in here again. But the uh, next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take the radiator back out, leave it out, and get all this stuff done. I have some rewiring to do and some other stuff to do to make it all work. So I'm going to take it out, get it all ready to go, and then put it back in.